the how of our mission. So how do you do it? How do you awaken people? We awaken you, we facilitate your art by letting you be you. Non-linear, non-standard, non-compulsory web of natural learning. You can be you or become you whenever you decide. You could start with curiosity as a two-year-old, a kindergartner, a teen, a 50-year-old, or you could not even start with curiosity. Curiosity drives ownership of intellectual learning. It makes us hungry. Curiosity is natural. Some we need detox to get back to it. Exposure is what a healthy family provides. We're redefining no child left behind to be just that. Play excites the essence of engagement. Play provides a mental, physical space where people can fall in love with what they are doing and learning. A mentor alongside deliberately not teaching, strewing adjacent possibilities, creating serendipity, tapping into the curriculum from within and constructed by the learner. In modeling a growth mindset, the learner is ecstatic over the possibilities afforded by their greatest teacher, a perpetual, ubiquitous feedback loop of failures and reflections. If it's your art, you'll do almost anything to give it away. Children do not need to be made to learn to be better, told what to do, or shown how. If they are given access to enough of the world, they will see clearly enough what things are truly important to themselves and to others, and they will make for themselves a better path into that world than anyone else could make for them. People's propensity is not toward laziness. People's propensity is toward hunger. People are hungry to do work that matters to them and to their people. What a boost to global net happiness it would be if we could positively activate the minds and bodies of hundreds of millions of people by offering them better hard work. How to awaken people within a district? Perhaps not very much needs to change if you love what you're doing. Imagine that it's as simple as changing up who's together in a room or a space for choice. Imagine creating mental and physical spaces to facilitate something like this. Imagine non-compulsory gatherings, people meeting up per choice, no more classroom management. Imagine all the time and money we've been spending on that. Perhaps a process such as detox could help to facilitate the chaos vital to personalization. Meshing detox in the BU web for those who might have lost their propensity for curiosity, or jumping right into a gentle yet hardcore detox. Notice the unlikely, dream boldly, connect to people and info, do what matters most. While the exact words are certainly not set in stone and certainly aren't to be worshipped, common verbiage and a means to access others' experiences could be helpful. One major goal is to eradicate standardization in school. A standard process could potentially replace standard content. Acknowledge mind chatter as such. Embrace solitude. Listen to you. Overcome the fear of being alone. Look at what you have. Find your place of freedom. Noticing is probably the most taken for granted, outsourced, and yet most potent of all skills. Noticing is determined action. Focus on outcomes can encourage us to be mindless. Listen with whatever means you have to what's going on around you. Notice the unlikely. An artist uses bravery, insight, creativity, and boldness to challenge the status quo. An artist changes everything, making dreams come true. An artist trains people to live without a map. Connect with yourself, with your community, with the world, with information, and with the adjacent possibilities. Fittingness. How will your actions match your gifts, match who you are? Does it matter? Is it awesome? Focus on the process of learning no matter what the content. Something incredibly messy and complex, differentiating for each learner, now becomes very simple and focused. 
focus allows for a pruning out of unneeded content, as well as an intense, deep practice of the goal at hand. Iterations of the process soon become second nature, and the learner has the skill set to learn new things. Doing what has been considered standard doesn't equate with success anymore. We need to be freeing kids up to be themselves, giving them space to fail, showing them we trust learning, that it is that fascinating and that alluring. <laughs>